Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to continue with messing with our player's health. And uh, in this one, what we want to do is actually have a capsule similar to our lives capsule here. Um, but instead, we want to have something that increases the player's health when he runs into it. All right, so um, let's go ahead and take a look at that and see how we can go about it. So right now, um, we have this capsule and it's a trigger and it says on player enter. So of course, we're probably gonna want something similar to that. So what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and do a control D on this capsule. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move it over here. So I'll put it, actually I'll put it right over here just so it's not in the same space. So we don't get confused. And also what I'm gonna do is go into my materials folder here and I'm gonna create two different materials. Uh, this material is going to be for health, right? And then I'll just do a control D on that one. And then for this material, this is going to be for lives. Okay. So for the health material, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and change the color to something like, like a green, something like that for the health and for the lives, I'll do something like blue, right? Great. All right, cool. So now what I'll do is uh, get rid of that. We'll take a look at those types of error codes later. But for now, what I'll do is now take this health and put it on the green one. And for the lives, I'm going to put that on this capsule. Great. And then uh, for the health, I'm going to actually reduce the smoothness. Not that it's important at all, but I just don't want that there. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of it. Or we can actually, it looks kind of cool with some specularity on it. No big deal. This is again, not a graphics thing. So we have a couple different health uh, items here, a couple different items here that we can pick up. And so now we're gonna change this one, the green one to health as opposed to life okay so health capsule and that one's good all right great so now let's take a look at our trigger so on our trigger we have on player enter so that's great we have a condition so in terms of this condition we probably want to change this because now our health is actually dealing with the stats attribute so what we want to do is change our health stats attribute so let's first, let's go ahead and take a look at our condition and I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff here just because, actually I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and we'll start from scratch, hit trigger and uh, get rid of that. So the idea is all we want to do is add to our health, that's it, that's pretty easy. So let's see a way that we can do that. We could do an action, right? Um, we can do an action and we can do stats and we can do change attribute and then for the stats we can do player health and then we can add and then we can just simply give this a value so we can say that this little health bar instead of it filling up all the way right we could do something like we can do like maybe 50 maybe 50 points something like that so let's see how that plays out so we'll go ahead and hit play and this one's really easy because we're using the stats app module uh, to do that. So, all right, great. So, of course, if we run into it, it doesn't do anything because um, our health is at full. So what I'll do is go ahead and get hit and I'll get hit again. Great. And then I'll go to there. So, of course, we don't need lives. We need health. So, cool. So it filled it up back to 50 or at least by 50 and so that's cool so of course it's still there because we didn't destroy it so let's go ahead and put an action in there to destroy so after that is over we can hit put in a destroy or we could actually do a destroy after finishing so let's see how that works so i'll just go ahead and put destroy after finishing as opposed to actually using an action to destroy the actual capsule Let's see if that does the same thing. All right, so we'll go in here. Now, let me run into it. 
doesn't do anything okay all right so health reduced and it didn't increase after that and I think uh, that's because of the destroy after finishing that's not what we want so what I'll do is do a destroy here and I'm gonna just say destroy this game object boom and so we'll do that so let's see here hit play all right so let's go and get attacked go to this guy we'll get hit a couple times one more time uh. all right cool so let's go get some health so we're gonna go to health and cool so we got some health and it put it up there and that looks like that worked out pretty good pretty good all right so uh let's see something else so let's go ahead and hit play and i'm going to take this health capsule and i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to put one here and i'll put one over here just like so great so now we have a couple different ones here and i just want to see what happens so technically, if you get health from one, it shouldn't destroy the others, and that's what we're just going to test. Uh, we'll just make sure that that's the case. All right, so I'll get my health built, be down all the way. One more hit. All right, cool. All right, so we'll go get some health. So we get this one. That one's added, and then we'll go over here. You know there's an invisible checkpoint here. That's pretty cool. And we got that. And now our health is full, so great. So we can go get hit again. Boom, and then we'll hit him. Oh, man. And then I'll get some health before I die. And then we'll uh, hit me again. Kill him, because he had no health. One more attack left. And then... I'll kill this guy. Actually, I'm going to let him kill me. All right, player died, so that's cool. Player dies, re went down, remaining lives. Everything is working pretty good so far. And then we're gonna go back to our scene, and then here we are. So our health is full, and uh, that's good, that's fine. The health is full. Um, that's what is supposed to happen when you die. Um, it refills the health, so, all right. So, so far that's working out pretty good. This video wasn't really meant to be long it was really just meant to kind of get our health these little things working here and uh i think i already hit the blue one so that's why that one's gone and that's why my lives counter here is now at three so that's pretty cool and uh that's pretty much it so uh for the next video we'll take a look at some more things regarding our our player what we'll probably do is start organizing and just making sure our files are in place and then we're going to start thinking about menus and and going to, from a main menu into a actual game scene all right so i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys thanks for tuning in to stay up to date on the latest 3d platforming tutorial feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support you can find me on patreon or of course you can hit me up on discord i like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.